That's interesting. What is going on there? I don't know. Let's have a look. Hey, what are you doing here? It is a throwing weapon of the ancient Romans. What is that? They put it, the shell in here and then pull the rope and... And threw it at their enemies. And who are you going to shoot with your catapult? Actually, we don't want to shoot with a shell. We are planning to shoot it ourselves. Isn't that a cool idea? Oh, wow. Can we join you? You join us? <laughs> I don't think so. It's not a girl's business. I don't understand. What does that mean? Building and repairing is not for girls. You'd better cook, clean, or water the flowers. Oh, really? Is that what you think? Then let us build your catapult and you do our girly things and then we'll see who does a better job. Well, I'm sweeping and you're cleaning. Maybe I can sweep the floor and you can clean. There's no difference. Every girl can do that. How are these catapults made? Here's the drawing. Let's start. Oh, oh, oh. Thera, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I found what we need. I told you, it's easy. Look how clean everything is. Yeah, very clean. Ethan! George, be careful! I'll help you! George! The bookcase! Oi! 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 Ah! I tried to warn you. How is it? Awesome. We would make some really good Romans. We tried our best. We can see that, boys. We didn't know girly work was so difficult. Is it funny for you? Let's go and see the catapult that you built. Wow, it's amazing. Awesome, we would be really good Romans. You did a great job. We'll never make fun of you ever again. And we will learn how to clean. We have our own instructions. Ready? Let's do it! to participate in the street race. Well, you know that we are just little kids and our parents are worrying about us, that's all. Uh-huh. They themselves can do what they please. Stay up late at night or go for a street race. When I grow up, I will be a super racer. Yee-hoo! Uh. Give way! <sighs> Who is the super racer here? You are? <laughs> You wouldn't succeed in racing a turtle. No, you wouldn't. I can race you anytime. Wanna oh. bet? Uh. Are you scared or what? Coward. Uh. I'm not a coward. You're on. I'll race you to the end of the street and back. Ha. Ethan, I don't think it's a good idea. Let's go. Whistle huh. to start. You 
are a hooligan. You broke a valuable price. I'm taking you to your parents right away. And I hope they ground you with no movies or games. Uh. Oh. I picked the tastiest engine grease. I Ooh. really hope George likes mm. it. Mm. George! George! Hi there. How are you? What did your parents say? Uh, they say I'm not allowed to go and see my friends. Yet on the other hand, they said nothing about my friends coming to see me. We decided to cheer you up. Ethan, it is you that I don't want to see. It was you who broke the prize and I got punished for that. I think you should have told them the truth. But... But... I would have been punished, and I... I... You guys may come in and help me to do something important. What's going on with you, Ethan? Nothing, really. Now tell me seriously, are you kidding me? I am an old battle iron horse. I see you're sad. You can tell me anything. Uh, I mean, I can maybe help you out. I broke the prize, but George is the one that got punished for that, and I don't know what to do. Well, I would say that if you did something wrong, you are the one responsible. That's right, even if you've done wrong, it is unfair when another guy is charged for your misdeed. Do you get it? <laughs> Ah, no fear! Ever, never! That's it. I told you everything. It was me who broke the prize. Forgive, George. He's innocent. Hmm. Well done, Ethan. You are very brave. I wouldn't tell if I were you, because I would be scared to death. Listen, just tell my mom and dad to ground me in my room for what I did. We made a new prize. Even better. It's even better. Friends again, Ethan, right, friend? <laughs> One, two, three, and four. Ethan is a lucky boy. Oh, wow, what a lamp. I'm so lucky today. Ha <laughs> 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 ha <laughs> 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 you can't catch us. <laughs> Try harder, George, or you'll never catch us. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Ethan. What's wrong with you? Can't you see? That's a super lamp. Where did you get it from? Well, I found it. You know what, Ethan? First of all, you look really funny with that big lamp. <laughs> it's way bigger than you. <laughs> and second, you're bragging about it. But someone needs it and is looking for it now. And we need to give the lamp back to the one who lost it. Hey guys, that's mine. I've lost it. That's my lamb. It's a gift from my dad. Are you sure? Where did you lose it? If I knew where I'd lost it, I would have found it. Somewhere on the street, I guess. Exactly. I found it on the street. Fine. You can take it. It's strange. Why would Sam's parents give him a lamb? If he puts it on, he won't be the fastest anymore. That thing is so heavy. Wow, who bent the lantern like that? Maybe it was a dinosaur? Dinosaurs do not exist. I know, I'm kidding. Yesterday, Grandpa Billy hit the pole. I don't even know what's wrong with him. He used to be a nice and polite train, and he never breaks rules. Billy lost it and now doesn't see well. 
we must take the lamp back from Sam Sparky and give it back to Grandpa Billy. Hey, do you want to dance with us? Sam, Sparky, turn off the music, please. What happened? You lied to us. The lamp is not yours. It's Grandpa Billy's. He has lost it and now can't see at all. We should give the lamp back. But I didn't know it was Grandpa Billy's. I thought it was nobody's. How is it? Awesome. Seems like I never lost it. Thank you, guys. It was so hard without my lamp. It's like being blind. I am happy that everything ended well. And so, you better go home now, kids. It's getting late. Good night, Grandpa Billy. Don't lose anything else. Yes, I'll try not to. Hey, Captain. Are you going to come off of watch now? It's time to sleep now. In this severe storm, I cannot bring myself to leave the command bridge. What if anybody is in distress, Mom? But you're so sleepy, dear. Your cruiser might hit a sea cliff. So now it's time for you to go to bed. Hmm. Huh. Mom, it's not a cruiser, it's a freaking. Help! SOS! We are attacked by pirates! Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> They've been attacked by pirates! <sighs> Boatsman! Oh, oh! Boatsman, reporting is ordered. Why are you hiccuping? Well, I, uh, oh, 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 I've got seasickness. Seasickness? How could you? You're the chief boatsman. You know you should really look after your captain. Interesting. Where are all the sails? <gasps> you ordered to wash them, Captain, remember? They haven't dried since yesterday. A ship! Ahoy! <laughs> All hands on deck! Let's get ready to attack, everybody! Board them! Hey, look! Pirates! Whoa! I think they've spotted us. So what are we doing now? If we don't look at them and ignore them, they'll simply pass by us. The frigate disappeared! It was a ghost ship! Okay, listen up. We'll sneak to the pirate ship and save all the hostages. What if they see us? Pirates sleep just like babies. Just don't make any noise. Who's there? We are the little mermaids. Hmm. them and this is to stop the pirates from kidnapping people. Never mind. 
Outrageous! You will pay me for everything! And I will report you, you hear me? Oh, Captain, you have saved me! You are so amazingly brave! George, have you been sleeping by the table all night long? You woke me up! Ah, all my dreams seem to end with a cliffhanger, yet a tiny piece of the story is still on. George, it's time to get up. No, can I sleep for another 15 minutes? Gotta say goodbye to my friends in my dream. I want to be polite before I wake up, Mother dear. Get up, come on. You'll tell them goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Mommy, must you always cliffhang my night dreams like that? Good morning, George. Hello there, Wendy. Where are you running to so early, huh? I'm taking huh? a morning run. Want to run with me? Oh, you know. I just got up a minute ago. I don't really want to run anywhere. Oh, please, George. Wow, cool. I don't want to sleep anymore. Thank you so much, Wendy. You're welcome. It's fun to run together, isn't it? We're starting the morning exercise. One, two, three, four. Time to get up. One, two, three, four. Ethan, I'm one, here. Two, Hi, guys. I'm doing my morning That's exercise. It. I heard you calling me. Where are you heading to this early? Three, four, one, it's two, good to take a run after three, exercising. Four, well done, one, Wendy. I could be yawning all day long if not for her. Thank you, Wendy. You are welcome, Ethan. It's fun to run together, the three of us, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shall I sleep another hour? Or maybe three? Where are you running to? Mrs. Dove, we are taking a morning run. Join us, I'm sure you'll love it. Me, joining you right now? Instead of getting some more sleep? Hey guys, wait for Mrs. Dove, I'm coming! Uh, uh. You wait till I catch a second wind. We'll see who's the best. Oh, what's happening here? What? We're taking a morning run. What? I can't hear you. It's a run. What? A fire? Where? Oh! F -f 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 fire! Very interesting. Fire! We're burning! Help us! I can't go any farther. Oh, oh my. Mm. A fire? Oh. Wow, what a great run it was, right? Yeah, yeah cool, cool, great. Awesome. Well, I told you, didn't I, guys? It would be fun to run together. Oh my goodness! Where's the fire? There's no fire at all. Huh? It was a regular morning run. The fire! Fire! Help! Help! Wait, what? You mean there was no fire? We were all running? Running for nothing, huh? No, why nothing? I actually got my second wind. Can I please run with you every single morning? Me too. Me too. Of course you can. Oh, well, I'll be... Running with you too, then I will. Is it a really interesting place? Yes, visiting a museum is an interesting educational activity. Gee, I love everything interesting and what did you call it? Educational? Hey guys, where are you going? George and I are going to the museum. Come with us, it's absolutely great there. 
Oh, I can't come. I'm moving my grandma's belongings. Could you help me? Mm -mm. Well, we... We will. Later, for sure. Now we're late for the museum. Oh, never mind. You go. I will manage myself. Vera, I promise you on my word. We will help you. Puff. This is an ancient sphinx puff. Where is his nose then? This is the great riddle of history. There are many versions, but none are approved. Hey, look! Nesting blocks! These are not nesting blocks. These are huge pyramids. Do you know who built them? Who built them? The Egyptians. These are the Egyptian pyramids. Wow. It was very hard work indeed, Ethan, but the results would make you so proud. Yeah, I wish I could go there. What a job. It's so really, really hard, isn't it? It's been an easy part until now. Now we need to lift the rocks up to the top. Huh? Up there to the very top? George, we won't make it. There are many jacks and gears. We will arrange something. Just trust me. Now get ready. Let's jump. Oops. We stepped short, but the riddle of the Sphinx is solved, I guess. Now pull. Yes, we did it. We're great. Yes, we are. Oh, look. There's Vera down there. This stupid rock. Don't worry. We will help you. Listen. Vera's really waiting for us there. Huh? But we just came here. We have to help out our friends first. The museum can wait a while. We can come here later with Vera. You're right. Let's go, Ethan. No, let's run! <laughs> afraid we wouldn't make it, even the three of us. Just look at this huge pyramid over here. Pyramid, you're saying? <laughs> oh, wow, that's great. These museums are very helpful. Why aren't kids allowed to watch this movie? Mom says it's not for kids. It's scary. Nonsense. Hey, I got an idea. Let's make an elixir for adulthood. We can watch the movie then. Hmm, we need to try. That's awesome! Hey! What's that? Elixir of adulthood! Oh, wow! Boys, dinner's ready! Mom is calling! Let's go! No thanks, I'm not hungry! <gasps> Sam, Sam Sparky. Sparky! Oh no, Sam Sparky. That's not fair. Hey, boys. He's so grown up now. We should have been in his place. 
What if he does something bad and blames us? He will say that we gave him the elixir. What to do? <laughs> oh, I know! We must create an anti-elixir and sprinkle Sam with it, and then he'll be a kid again! I see the victim. I am shooting. Shoot him. Come to us again. What are you boys doing? Hmm, we cleaned the shop windows. Well, it was cleaner before you washed it. I really messed up. Mm-hmm, we smudged the mud. There he is. <laughs> What's going on? We are, we are sorry. sorry. That's just horrible. Listen, we will be punished soon if we continue sprinkling everyone except Sam. But what can we do? We need to make him young again. Maybe we should go to his house. George, you're a genius. Oof, what kind of stupid jokes are these? Your elixir doesn't work. I waited for three hours, but they didn't let me watch the movie. I wasted my time. What do you mean? Then who did we sprinkle with the anti-elixir? <laughs> Don't rush to grow up, boys. Everything has its time. I would love to play football or watch a movie, but I need to work. Oh, I gotta go. Dinner is over. It's strange. Kids aren't allowed to watch movies. Adults don't have time to, so who watches them? manly without glasses. George! Are you coming? Isn't it too cold outside? Oi! George! George! George, did you fall down? No, I just thought it's underground. We should put a fence here, or someone will fall into the hole. Oi! <laughs> Hello, T Trollykin. <laughs> George, can't you see it's D Trollykin? Hello, D Trollykin. George, where are your glasses? You can't see without them. I can see everything without glasses. Mrs. Dove, your dress is very pretty. Hello, Wendy. It's not even funny, George. George, let's see who can jump farther. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Come on, George. George, where are you? 
I'm here. There are two robbers in Arnold's house. Oh, they just tied Arnold up. Oh, what should we do? <laughs> George, you must be confused. What robbers are you talking about? Scary. I got you, Arnoldio. Tell me where my treasure is. I won't tell you, Black Scorpion. I'm not afraid of you. You will never get my diamond rails and the golden sleeper. Diamond rails? Oh. I should save him. Hold on, Arnold. George is coming to save you. One, two, three. I'm counting. One, two, three. Arnold, don't tell Scorpion where the diamond rails are. <laughs> You're funny, George. Diamond rails. Diamond rails. <laughs> I really can't see anything without my glasses. I have to wear them again. George, you're the bravest train I know. Ha <laughs> ha.